This is a cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis. In this case, I will demonstrate nuclear division by submarine chalk. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. And now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision. The patient is under peribulbar anesthesia and air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this hard cataract. This staining of the anterior capsule will provide some contrast during capsular excess. So the staining is done, the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. The visco is applied over the corneal epithelium and this improves visibility. And now the anterior capsule is incised with the help of a 26 gauge paint needle and a large capsular tag which is very easy to hold is raised the utrita forceps is used to hold this capsular tag. The capsular tag is guided anticlockwise. And since this is a hard nucleus, a large rexus is performed. Size of this rexus is about 6 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done at multiple points. The nucleus is tacked. Hydro is again done. And now the nucleus is mobilized. And we can see that the nucleus rotates very nicely. And now visco is again injected. The anterior chamber is filled up with visco. This is adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. And now this is visco. And now let us observe submarine chop. The machine being used is Oatly Catarx 3. This can be tried with any machine. The tip goes bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. So the say 0.5 millimeter thickness of the lens is removed. And now the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision, goes through the substance of the nucleus like a submarine, goes towards the opposite nucleus and after it crosses the central heart core, the chopper is used to divide the nucleus. The nucleus is rotated on 180 degree and the handpiece is used to hold one hemineucleus and the other one is separated by the chopper. This is one hemineucleus. It is also chopped into two large fragments. And now the nucleus is rotated. We come to other hemineucleus and here it is. This hemineucleus is also chopped into two large fragments. Now each nuclear fragment is tilted 
the apex of these large nuclear fragments are emulsified first ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury the ultrasound is in continuous mode and we can see there is no own burn and we will see after completion of this nucleus management there will be no own burn this may be because of the unique shape of this easy tip the end of this phaco needle is wider the shaft is narrower around the shaft there is lot of fluid which keeps the wound cool so this is the last but one heminucleus and this is the last big chunk of nuclear fragment this nuclear fragment tumbled it has been divided into two pieces and it is emulsified and the epinucleus is held and it is also emulsified so this is submarine job and now cortical cleanup is done using a 23 gauze simco cannula the sub incisional cortex is difficult to remove with this so for the sub incisional cortex bimanual irrigation aspiration was used you can see that the pupil is becoming small probably because the iris is getting touched by the simco as well as by the ia now visco is injected to fill up the anterior chamber the iris is retracted to see if there is any cortex remaining anywhere go through the side port and examine 360 degrees and there is no cortex and now in this case we have selected a multi-piece intraocular lens and for that we need to enlarge the main wound a bit so the right end of the main incision is enlarged the optic of the sensor multi-piece intraocular lens is placed behind the cantilevers of the cartridge and now the optic is folded and the haptics must be in the lumen of the cartridge and now the cartridge is placed in the injector and here the haptic should come outside in this way the trailing haptic now the piston is pushed forward and it is rotated clockwise and now the cartridge is rotated clockwise first so that the haptic goes in proper direction as the optic comes out the cartridge is rotated anti clockwise so that the trailing haptic is in the right position now a macpherson's forceps is used to place the trailing haptic in the capsula bag now in this case the pupil is small so how to how to know that the haptics are in the capsula bag or in the sulcus this is a retractor 
oil retractor for the iris and we can examine the rexus margin just at the haptic optic junction and in this way we know that the haptics are in the capsular back yes this is done and now because the iris has been tasked so many times the pupil has become really small but it doesn't matter now we have finished our job the visco from the anterior chamber is removed now I go behind irrigate the capsular bag remove most of the visco by irrigation and uh, later on by irrigation and aspiration and now this is moxifloxacin and then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds so this is done and now the final lavage of the anterior chamber this is very important at the conclusion of surgery there should be few molecules of moxifloxacin which is behind the eye well and only pure PSS thank you very much for your attention please try submarine chaff for dividing hard nuclei into fragments